All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to title this video, okay, Great Millstone Sets the Record Straight, okay? Which, um, the word, the term set, set the record straight, okay, is an idiom, okay, and it means to make the true facts of something clear, especially when they have been previously mistaken, misunderstood, or misrepresented, okay? So, the men that you know, okay, is Great Millstone or GMS, okay? We're setting the record straight and we're giving you the true doctrine, okay? Of uh, the one who the world ignorantly calls God, okay? Uh, which they say Jehovah, which that's not his name, okay? Uh, you, you people say uh, Jesus, okay? Which that's not his name. Okay, the letter J didn't exist uh, 400 years ago, okay? And and that's not even a Hebrew name in the first place, man, okay? You can't read the Bible in English and expect to understand the whole entire scriptures, okay? Now, uh, one of the things that also is uh, mistaken, okay, is that the Bible teaches the religion, you know? Or that the Bible is the so-called white man's book. Okay, that you people are, are gladly mistaken. Why? Because the so-called white man, which are Edomites according to the Bible, they're the devil. Okay, and they pretty much brainwashed, you know, the, the whole entire uh, nation of Israel. Okay, uh, totally took us away from our heritage, which that's in the scriptures. Okay, um... I'm going to get that, you know, to start off. I'm just going with the spirit, man, you know. Uh, this is uh, Psalm 83 and 4. It says, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, okay? You, peop you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you got cut off from being a nation, okay? See, everybody in America, okay, can go back. To their homeland okay they know where they where they came from you know except for you so-called niggas man you know which are the tribe of Judah according to the scriptures okay it says that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance okay so you 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 people don't even lay it to your heart that you are the chosen people that the Bible is spoken of okay because Y'all, 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 y'all have been uh, mistaken, okay? Y'all, y'all gonna find out the hard way, man, okay? It says misunderstood, like the fact that y'all people think that, uh, for example, the word world, okay, and John uh, three sixteen is talking about the whole entire world, but you don't understand that there are certain things called homophones, okay? And homographs, okay, a homograph is each of two or more words spelt the same, but not necessarily pronounced the same, having different meanings and origins, okay, so the word bow and bow, okay, now, the, the first bow is a, a knot tied with two loops, and two loose ends used especially for tying shoelaces and decorative ribbons. Okay, so that's one bow, right? Then it says a weapon for shooting arrows typically made of a curved piece of wood whose ends are joint by a taut string. Okay, so you can't just read the Bible, okay, and expect to, to think that you understand the scriptures, man. Okay? The word world has many different meanings. You have to you have to understand and apply the, the proper context to the word. Okay? Um, so when it says, for God so loved the world, okay, that goes back to Isaiah 47. Okay? First off, man, you know, 
the scriptures, you can't just read the Bible, okay, uh, front to back, man. You know, because you're not going to get the understanding. Okay? Um, the, the, the scriptures is not meant for, for people to, uh, you know, just read it um, verbatim and get the understanding, man. You know? So, when the, the scriptures, Isaiah 28 and 9, it says, Whom so he teach knowledge... And whom so he make to understand doctrine. Okay? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Okay? These, this is a parable, man. Because you people, you know, you've been so used to looking at things from how the so-called white man looks at things. Instead of from the spirit and, and you know, uh, what the scriptures say. Okay? Um... You can't read it word for word and think that you understand it, man. First off, the Lord has to be dealing with you. It says, for precept must be on par precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, hear a little and dare a little. Okay? So, when you go into uh, the scripture in John 3.16, okay, for God so loved the world, a precept to that, okay, would be Isaiah 45. And 17 it says but israel shall be saved in the lord with an everlasting salvation you shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end okay and what's that world man okay that's when the so-called white man okay and these other nations they came and they cut us off from being a nation okay so that the name of Israel so no more being remembered. So you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, who, which this Bible is for y'all. Y'all don't understand that it's actually y'all Bible, man, y'all book, man. We had our own ways of living, okay, before the so-called white man came over here and 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 and, and conquered the, the so-called Native Americans, brought the, the 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 Negroes over here into slavery. You know, so-called white supremacy is all under, you know, in the scriptures, man. You know, and what's going to happen to the fact that the so-called white man is going into slavery. You know, y'all, y'all people don't understand that because, of course, the so-called white man don't understand it. You know, if he understood, he wouldn't put the Bible out, you know. So continuing on, it says or misrepresented. Okay. Christians are not the rep true representatives of the one who y'all ignorantly call God, man. Okay? Nobody on this, not, none of you religious people, you know, which all you people are into idolatry, man. Okay? Y'all ain't re representing the, 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 the most high. Okay? The one who the world calls God, the true reigning uh, power. Y'all not representing them, man. Okay? And y'all gonna find out Okay, that y'all y'all are gladly mistaken, man. Like when when um, Elijah uh, was mocking the um, the men, man. You know, uh, talking about that God was sleep. You know, um, I'm not sure where that scripture is. I'm gonna have to uh, find it. You know, but Elijah was 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 pretty much um, mocking uh, their uh, their God, man. You know, because, you know, they, they was, they thought that their God, you know, was, uh, was real, man. You know, um, I'm trying to find it if I can. Okay. I know it's in, uh, I believe it's in the, the book of, uh, the Kings when Elijah was mocking the, um, the, uh, servants, man. Okay. Um, Salakia, Lord willing, I can uh, find it, man. You know, and y'all, y'all, y'all people are going to um realize, man. You know, at the end of the day, that God that y'all think that y'all are worshiping, you know, it ain't real, man. You know, see, we we here at at, at Great Millstone, we willing to die, okay, for this, man, because we know. That this is the truth, man. You know? Ain't no second guessing. Okay? This is the truth, man. 
you know so um I'm gonna continue to to try to find this you know Lord willing I can find it you know it's escaping me right now um I'm gonna get continue on it's first Corinthians 2 and 1 and I brethren when I came to you came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom you know and that's what a lot of people you know you y'all expect that the men of the Lord to 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 have some type of uh theologian degree or you know to 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 have a a, a master's degree to know all type of English words and you know be extremely eloquent when it comes down to speaking you know um it says declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh by some Yahweh for I determined not to know anything among you save or accept Yahweh Shah and him crucified. Okay, that the Lord, you know, died for the nation of Israel. Not for everybody on this planet, man. Okay, it says, and I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Okay? Cause the the, the Lord, okay, Yahweh Shemel Shah. He's gonna he's gonna do a lot of destro destroying, okay. And we hope that we are able to to be counted worthy of being escaping. You know what's about to come. It says, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, okay. And you know when you go into the scriptures and tell you how you know what um. You know what type of spirit the, the men of the Lord are going to be in, okay? Which is honestly Yahweh by Shemuel outside is putting the spirit on us, man. Okay, to do the things, man. He's showing who his true servants are. Okay, this uh, next verse it says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh by Shemuel outside. And the fact that we're able to stand out there and call the so-called white man the devil to his face, okay. Edomites, we calling Esau the devil to his face, okay? Telling you you people, okay, you you, you Israelites that y'all gonna get destroyed, you know, the, the elect is gonna make it, okay? But but you you people have to, to, to know where y'all going off at, man. You know? And we able to stand out there, you know, in the in the power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah because the Lord actually has his men protected, man. It says, How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yeah, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. You know? It says, but we speak the wisdom of God and the mystery. So it's not for everybody to get. Okay? We setting that record straight, man. It's not for you, man. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Okay? And it's not up to us to sit down and... and, and you know, make you understand it. It's up to Yahweh by Shemuel Shah whether you get it or not, man. It says, even the hidden wis wisdom which Yahweh by Shemuel Shah ordained before the world unto our glory. And the only ones that can get that, that wisdom, okay, the only ones that can dance to that song are the 144,000, man. Okay? It says, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Okay? It says, but as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Okay? And you people, you know, y'all got it misunderstood that when you, you know, the, the things that the Lord got for you is when you die. Okay? You go into heaven. Or, or the Lord is just going to give you all type of, you know, things. Okay? In this life that we that we live in right now, this bullshit life where everything is temporary, okay? You people, y'all misunderstanding this scripture, man. You know? Because it's saying that the, 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 the things that the Lord is going to give is when the Lord comes back and he, you know, destroys, okay, this 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 place, man, okay? And and those things that, you know, the, the, when the kingdom of heaven is manifest on this earth, Okay, we we're gonna be living those things, man. Okay, 
It says, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of Yahweh by Simeon Sa. Okay? And that's why we able to sit up there and say, okay, reincarnation. Or or you know, the deep heavy, heavy matters as far as the scriptures, man. Okay? Because the Lord is, is dealing with the, the, the men of great millstone. Okay? It says, For what man knows the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knows no man but the spirit of God. Yahweh. Now we have received not the spirit of this world, okay, of the world, because that's what y'all, you know, hey. This 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 word world right here, man, it's not talking about you know the whole entire uh world man okay but uh it says but the 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 thing i mean but the spirit which is of Yahweh by Shemiyawasa that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh by Shemiyawasa and one of the things that the Lord gave unto his men is his name okay so you other Israelite camps that don't know the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh y'all coming up, you know, with these other names and stuff like that. The Lord is going to get you, man. Okay, you saying Christ? That ain't the Lord ain't give you that name. You know what do the scriptures say on that, man? Okay, that no other name in the book of uh, Acts four and uh, twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must must be saved. And Christ is a name that was given among men. Christ is is an English word, man. Okay, the the apostles didn't know they they wasn't speaking English back then. You know, they were speaking Hebrew. Okay, so it says um. Uh, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual okay so the fact is you know like when we sit up there and say that the so called uh, black woman or uh, nigger woman okay because them women are demons man not every black woman is a, you know is a nigger woman Okay, but for the most part, the majority of them are demons, man. Okay? You got to look at them like all of them are demons, man. And, and hey, we, we look at us like we ain't always right, man. So, how much more these women, man? You know? So, so you got people out here that, you know, all into women worship. You know? We're not, we not down with that, that simp shit here in Great Millstone, man. It says, but the natural man receives not the things... Of the spirit of God. So when we sit up there and say, you know, the, the black woman is not God, you know, that they're going to be servants unto us. It says, for they are foolishness unto him. Because this, this, this is all that you niggas know, man. What's here in America? Okay? These bullshit ass philosophies that the so-called white man then put on you. Okay? It says, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. The name of the Lord is something that you have to, you know, spiritually discern. Okay? The fact that Cornelius is an Israelite is something that you have to spiritually discern. Because a lot of people can't get that. Okay? The fact that the Bible in itself is something that you have to spiritually discern. It's something that you people cannot get. Okay? It says, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Yahweh Shah. Okay? So we we have the mind of Yahweh Shah, man. When you go into the scriptures, you know, the Lord is the author and the, the, the finisher of our faith, man. Okay? So continuing on, um, let me get this scripture. 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has set forth us the apostles last, okay? Because at the end of the day, there's so much confusion out here in the world, okay? And what do the scriptures say about confusion, okay? Which America 
is Babylon the Great, but this is the scripture of 1 Corinthians, which Babylon means confusing, okay? It's 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace is in all churches of the saints, okay? So, after all this confusion that is in the world, okay, the Lord set forth the apostles last to come play the cleanup crew, man, to set the record straight, okay? To let you people know that the Lord is the one who controls evil and good, man, or good and evil, okay? He controls the right hand and the left hand, man. That, that Satan never bucked up against the Lord, man. Okay? We letting you know who the, who, who Satan is talking about to the, through the scriptures, man. Okay? So, so the thing is, the Lord set forth his men last. Okay? After all the, the, the whole stage is set. Okay? Every, everybody is in place. Okay? Now it's up to the men of the Lord to come and, and to, to, to reveal... What's going on? It says, "Is it were appointed to death?" Okay. You Christians ain't ain't ain't, ain't doing this, man. Y'all ain't putting y'all life and freedom on the line for y'all by some outside. Okay. What what do we do at Great Millstone? Okay. As the scriptures say, Second Timothy four and two. It says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season." Okay, when whether it's raining, cold, okay, hot, okay, as long as you're being wise, it says reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay, so being in the spirit, being diligent, okay, walking through that straight gate, okay, that's 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 what a man of the Lord is gonna do, man. Okay, it says uh, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, the entire world, okay? But people walk by, they sit up there and they say we look stupid, okay? And, and to angels and to men, okay? People come up and they come up with their crazy uh, philosophies and doctrines. And what we do, we go through the scriptures. People come up with, with, with bull crap history, okay? Don't even know the, the, the things that they're actually celebrating, like this bullshit Christmas, you know that people are sitting up there saying it's in the Bible. That's not in the Bible, man. You know? You people are saying, oh, we got to go to church. You know? When the word church means to call out, you are the church. Your body is your temple. You know? These things are purples that not everybody can get, man. You know? It says, we are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, but you are wise in Yahweh Shah. Or Christ for y'all. It says, we are weak, but you are strong. You can't show me, you know, no instance where you people are, are, are showing that you weak, man. It says you are honorable, but we are despised. We looked at is is niggas, man. Okay, don't nobody want to, don't nobody want to want to be in, in in Great Millstone, you know? Why? Because we we give you the cold all facts, man. You know, it says even at unto this present hour, we both hunger. And thirst, and what do what do we say, man? You know, in the Lord's prayer, you know, give us this day our daily bread, man. Okay, it says, and are naked, and are buffeted, and have no certain dwelling place, because this is not our rest, man. Okay, America is not our rest. Okay, that's um. In the book of uh, Micah, Micah uh, 2 and uh, 10, it says, Arise and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and so destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Okay? So America is not our rest. It says, uh, And labor, working with our hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat, okay? And you people, you, you know, keep on coming at us on what, you know, y'all different philosophies and stuff, man. You know, we, we, we like that stuff, man, because we, we know through the scriptures what the scriptures say. It says, we are made as the filth of the world, okay? And are the offscouring 
of all things unto this day. Okay? So that's that's what the men of the Lord are going to be doing, man, in this this truth, man. You know? Setting the record straight, man. You know? We ain't, we ain't playing no games, okay? And we ain't about playing games, man. Is that scripture uh said, man, we ain't into the to the to the vanity, man. It's all about um you know teaching teaching the truth in the scriptures, man. Okay? That that the Lord is um gonna destroy this place, man. Okay? When when somebody ends up dying, you know that's the Lord end up uh putting them to death, man. You know? Now, I'm gonna get that scripture um where uh Elijah was uh was mocking the other people, man, because you know, people you know, y'all gonna find out that y'all worshiping Satan, man. And Satan, you know, when y'all when y'all go up to, to, to throw up them prayers to Jesus, your prayers ain't gonna be answered, man. Okay? Um I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna end it, man. Um, this is uh first Kings um eighteen and uh twenty one and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long haunt you between two opinions? Okay, and we what we do here at Great Millstone is we we know that we have the truth, man. Okay? It says, If the Lord be God, follow him, but if Baal, then follow him. Okay? And the people answered him not a word. Then then said Elijah unto the people, I even only I even I only remain a prophet of the Lord. But but all prophets are four four hundred and fifty men. Right? It says, Let them therefore give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it into pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under. Right? It says, and you call on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. Okay? Which the name of the Lord is Yahweh. Okay? Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. And the God that answers by fire, let him be God. Let him be the power. Okay? And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Right? It says, and Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose you one bullock for yourself and dress it first, for you are many, and call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them and dressed, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even un until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us, but there was no voice nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made and it came to pass at noon that elijah mocked them and said cry aloud for he is a god either he is talking or he's he is pursuing or he is in a journey or peradventure he sleepeth and and wake and must be awake you know and that's what you know what y'all gonna find out man that y'all god is even you know he uh sleeping talking to somebody else you know, he's uh, doing something on a, on a journey. You know, that that Jesus ain't ain't real, man. You know, and if you're an atheist, you're going to find out that the Lord is real, man. Okay. It says, and they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday was, was passed and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither no, neither voice nor any to hear nor any that regarded and Elijah said unto all the people come near unto me and all the people came near unto him and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down and Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob unto whom the word of the Lord came saying all I mean Israel shall be thy name and with the, the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar as great as what contained two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood 
and said, fill four border barrels with water and pour it onto the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. And he said, do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran around the altar. And he filled the trench also with the water. Okay. And continue on. It says, and it came to pass at the time of the, sac the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God, Yahweh, God of power of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known that this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Yahweh, hear me, that this place people may know that thou art God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Okay, and it says, And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Sai, He is the God. The Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Sai, He is the God. Okay? So, that's what's going to happen, man. You know? Y'all people are going to find out that the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Sai, is the power, man. Okay? When the Lord destroys America, okay, and you people are taking into to that, man. Okay? So with that, man, hopefully this was edifying, man. You know, I want to say shalom until next time.